Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here on a Thursday, May 11th, 2023. Just trying to cook up this NBA playoffs per usual, man. Coming off another great night for us on the jam session yesterday. Swept it, man. 2-0. Um, love to see that, man. My comments yesterday, y'all were beating me up about taking the Knicks, man. But as I tried to explain to y'all, man, Madison Square Garden is one of the best venues on the planet for a reason. And I did expect the Knicks to go home and show up. And they did respond at home. I told y'all yesterday, I got Miami winning that series. But I did not think they were going to end the Knicks like that in New York, man. Um, so we cashed that ticket. And then we also cashed the play of the day with the Golden State Warriors. Of course, I was on them at home. Loser go home type game. They flipped the switch. Had the magnets activated. Like, come on now. Yes, the Lakers probably win the series but if y'all thought that the Warriors were just gonna lay down and no sir that's not what was gonna happen man it was all over them yesterday um if you were on the live jam session the pool over 10 points prop cash for us as well that was a sweat he had nine points in the first half boy he didn't get them last two to deep in that game man had me on the edge of my seat but he got it done love to see that man we're just trying to keep all this momentum rolling forward into tonight into the rest of the NBA playoffs, man. We're on a great run in the playoffs, man. Just trying to keep it rolling. Trying to keep it rolling. If you're looking for more of this great content, y'all know what to do, man. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And drop y'all like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through. Seeing what y'all like, man. My best bets, the ones that I'm placing tonight, can be found over at Pick Dogs Premium. Click that link in the description. Takes you right to my handicapper page there. You can find my top plays, man. And I got a treat for y'all today, man. My favorite play thus far in the playoffs, man. My play of the month of may goes off tonight man my favorite play on the board my play of the month man goes off tonight 19 bucks you can scoop it up link in the description man we will cash out on that play man i absolutely love that play tonight man so scoop it up link in the description i also offer baseball plays um a top play in baseball and long-term packages as well however you want to do it at pig dogs you can do it man just click the link in the description it takes you right there Follow me on Twitter at ParlayGuyJ, and I will be back later this evening with my live show, man. I will have the GOAT with me today, man. Big Al McMorty will be joining me, 3 Central, 4 Eastern, as we run through today's NBA card, man. Super excited about tonight's action. Ready to smash it per usual. Trying to stay red hot. Let's make some money tonight, man. And without further ado, let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. In our first matchup of the night, man, we got the Boston Celtics, the defending Eastern Conference champions, out on the road facing the Philadelphia 76ers, man. Sixers trying to close out Boston at home, man, up 3-2 in the series. They're not favored, though, man. Boston's favored by 2.5, total 2-12.5, man. I am super excited about tonight's game. Uh, I think this is going to be probably one of the best ones of the year. I think this is going to be an extremely great game tonight. I did not see Philadelphia stealing that game in Boston the other night. I had Philly plus the points, plus the seven and a half, so I cashed my ticket. But I thought they were just going to make the game competitive, and Boston wins that one at home. That's not what happened, man. Philadelphia showed up and won that game fairly comfortably. Boston did not shoot well in that game, and Tatum had an extremely slow start. Um, with that being said, tonight in Philly... For most of the season, I'm going to preference this by saying I have said Boston for most of the season was the best team in the NBA. I don't currently think that they are that right now, but I still think the Celtics are the best team in the Eastern Conference. And I still think the Celtics get back to the NBA Finals. And with that being said, I think the Celtics win and cover this game tonight. We're only laying two and a half, which is less than a bucket. I'm going to lay that with the Celtics in this one tonight. I also think this game is going to be tighter than some of the other games this series. I think tonight, like I said at the top, is going to be a really good game. And I think both teams defensively step up a bit, man, as closeout games are usually tighter, um, closer games. With that being said, the two plays that I like in this one, I like the Celtics laying the two and a half, and I like the under two twelve and a half in this one, man. I do. Jason Tatum yesterday got named to first-team All-NBA, meaning he is a top-five player in the NBA. Top-five. I have not seen Jason Tatum play like that this far this series. 
So with that being said, back up against the wall, closeout game. I do think tonight's the night we could get the Jason Tatum historic playoff performance type game. We've seen some historic playoff performances already this postseason. I think we get one from Jason Tatum tonight, man. I really do. He has to put this team on his shoulders. This is his team back up against the wall, man. I think the Celtics win this game. I think this game is going to be uh, kind of a mirror of game three of this series, although I think this game will be slightly closer than that game three. Boston beat Philly in Philly game three, man. And B got his that game, had 30 points. But the Celtics still win that game by double digits. I don't think this is a double-digit win, but I do think they win it fairly comfortably, six, seven points. Um, I do. I think we're getting a seven-game series out of this one. I expect the Celtics to shoot better than they did in that game five. I know they're on the road, man, but the Celtics, we know they sh they're they one of the best shooting teams in the league, man, and I expect some positive regression from them today. On the other side, man, I don't think Maxi goes for 30 again, although I do think he gets his. I love Tyrese Maxi, one of my favorite players. Um, I just don't think he goes that crazy today. I think the Sixers choke this game away, quite honestly, man. I think the Celtics win this, send it seven, and win it in seven. I think defensively this game is going to be tighter, closeout game. So the two plays for me in this one, Celtics land the two and a half, under 212 and a half. And I'll have some props for y'all on the live gym session. But as of right now, I'm looking at some Jason Tatum props, man. I think he has a huge game today as the Celtics tie the series up and send it seven games. In our next and final matchup of the night, man, we got the Denver Chicken Nuggets out on the road facing the Phoenix Suns, man. Suns trying to avoid elimination. They're favored at home, though. They're laying three. Total 226, man. Super excited about this game tonight as well. So, little recap. From the start of this series, I said Nuggets in five. Thought the Nuggets would beat the Suns in pretty quick work because I think the Nuggets are just flat out the better team. I had the Nuggets winning game one, game two. Um, I had the Suns winning game three. Where I went wrong is I had the Nuggets winning game four and five um, and closing out the series. The reason I had it going that way is, A, we know the Nuggets, the best home team in the league, man. Straight up and ATS-wise, they just go stupid, dummy, crazy at the crib. We've known that all season. We even have a golden rule in place. If we're not taking the Nuggets at home, we're just staying off the game. We don't fade Denver in Denver very often. So I just didn't think Phoenix was going to win one on the road at all, which they were going to have to do to win the series. So... That's how I thought this series was going to end in five. And I thought the Nuggets would win game four. Um, as I think Phoenix really is lacking defensively in this series. What I didn't see coming was Devin Booker shooting 80% from the field in those two games in Phoenix. I just didn't see that happening. But that's exactly what happened. He was absolutely in that mode at home. Now, back to tonight's game. That brings us to tonight. The Nuggets... Go stupid dummy crazy at home. On the road, they're a below 500 team. They're a below 500 team on the road are the Nuggets. They're not that same juggernaut out on the road as they are at home. And we just talked about how well the Suns played on their home floor, man, as Devin Booker shot extremely well and Kevin Durant got his in Phoenix as well. I don't expect Devin Booker to shoot that well at home. I don't. I just don't. I think that was statistically an anomaly, and it's unsustainable. With that being said, I also think that the Nuggets role players, like we've seen for most of the season, don't quite show up the way they do at home. All that being said, I think this game falls underneath 226. I don't think this game is going to be as high scoring as some of these other games were. So I'm leaning under in this matchup, and I still think the Nuggets in this series in pretty quick fashion. I'm taking them on the money line in this one. So those are the two plays I'm looking at. Nuggets money line is I think, A, the Nuggets are the better team, the Nuggets have more depth, and the Nuggets have the best player on the floor. I don't expect the Suns to continue to shoot as well as they did those first two games in Phoenix, so I expect some scoring regression from them there. And I expect Jokic to still get his, man. I do. So I'm taking the Nuggets to win this game, and I think both teams kind of slow up in pacing 
and don't shoot the ball as well as they have in some games early in this series. So I'm leaning under 226 in this game as well. We have seen some really high-scoring games in this series, but we've also seen some low-scoring ones as there was a 97-87 game in this series. That game was in Denver, but Chris Paul, not Chris Paul, Devin Booker and Kevin Durant are volume shooters, man. We've seen them shoot it at an extremely high rate in Phoenix already in this series. I just don't think they shoot it that efficiently tonight. So I'm taking the Nuggets to close these boys out, the better team with the better player, the more depth. And I'm taking the under as I don't think both teams continue to shoot at the clip they've shot at. So it's my breakdown for today, man. Give me the Nuggets and the under here in our last and final matchup of the night. And that's going to conclude today's episode on the Jam Session on May 11th. 2023 man thank y'all for watching smash that like button for your guy man subscribe if you're new and drop y'all like down in the comments as you know i love going through seeing who y'all like man my best bets the ones that i'm placing tonight can be found over at pig dogs premium click that link in the description takes you right to my handicapper page there you can find my top plays man and as i told y'all at the top i got a treat for y'all today man my favorite play thus far in the playoffs goes off tonight man my favorite play thus far in the month of may goes off tonight man my $19 NBA Jam Session play of the month man I am super excited about that play tonight we will cash it man so hop on my favorite play of the month man 19 bucks link in the description um you can also follow me on Twitter at ParlayGodJ as I'm active there all day any questions concerns or anything like that you can hit me DM me at me however you want to do it and I will be back later on this evening with my live show man I have the goat with me in Big Al McMorty today, man. So should be an extremely great show. I can't wait for it. Come spend some time with us later on today, 3 Central, 4 Eastern, as we try to get on the right side of these NBA games, man. Again, thank y'all for watching. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs, man. Let's stay hot, man. Let's keep this momentum rolling forward. We're seeing the NBA really well right now. Want to keep the momentum rolling forward into tonight and into the rest of the NBA playoffs, man. Thank y'all for watching again. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. I'll see y'all later on today, man. I'm out of here. Peace.